Hello, and thank you for your interest in Komatsu products. Today we'll be discussing the cab controls on Komatsu's midsize wheel loaders. With that, let's get started. So now that we're inside the cab, the first thing we want to do is get familiar with the machine controls. Starting with the seat adjustment to be sure the operator is comfortable. Then we want to fasten the seat belt. The height fore and aft position, the seat cushion and backrest can be adjusted independently of each other. And the armrest can be adjusted for height. Over the operator's right shoulder is the heated seat switch. The steering wheel tilts and telescopes for operator comfort. And on the left side of the steering column is the directional lever. The gear speed switch is also included in the directional lever with gear speeds selected using a twisting motion. Let's take a look at the dash panel next. On the left side is a group of switches, including the engine shutdown secondary switch, hazard lamp switch, front and rear work lamp switch, electronic control suspension system switch, and monitor brightness selector switch. The main monitor panel is centered in the dash. It includes a seven inch color screen and a round digital tachometer. We will share more details about the monitor in another lesson. On the right side of the dash is the multi-switch panel, which controls machine monitor functions as well as the cab heating and cooling controls. Right above this switch panel is the parking brake switch. When the switch is in the up position, the parking brake is applied while down is released. A lamp above the monitor will light when the parking brake is applied. To the right of the dash is the rear view monitor. This monitor can be programmed to always be on or only on when the machine is shifted into the reverse direction. This monitor includes a brightness adjustment switch that adjusts viewing for daylight or nighttime conditions. The right hand control console is designed to move forward and aft with the operator's seat. This console can be independently adjusted for maximum comfort. In addition, the right-hand armrest is fully adjustable. The controls at the front of the right-hand console include the controls at the front of the right-hand console include the work equipment levers and some important switches. The work equipment levers work with electronic proportional control or EPC technology. The rightmost lever controls the boom, while the middle lever on this machine controls the bucket. The left lever is installed when the third spool option is installed for auxiliary work equipment operation. Integrated into the boom lever are two switches. The switch on top is the transmission kickdown switch, while the switch on the left side of the boom lever is the transmission hold switch. Integrated into the bucket lever are two more switches. The switch on the top is the load meter cancel switch, while the switch on the left of the bucket lever is the load meter subtotal switch. Both of these load meter switches function when the load meter is enabled in the service menu. Looking to the right of the control levers, you will find two switches and a button. The red switch is the work equipment lock switch, which is a single position momentary contact style switch. If the work equipment is left unlocked and the machine is shut down, the work equipment is automatically locked. Next, there is a large three position switch labeled FNR. This is another directional selection switch. The operator can choose to use this switch by enabling it on the right side switch panel. Finally, there is a button that sounds the machine horn. This supplements the horn located in the center of the steering wheel. The right hand switch panel has eight switch locations. Starting from the front edge, we have the transmission cutoff, power mode selector, transmission mode selector, torque converter lockup, direction selection enable, remote positioner, two-stage low idle selection, which is optional, and the auxiliary steering, which is also an option. This Komatsu mid-size wheel loader also has a standard accelerator pedal, which is mounted to the cab floor. Immediately to the left is the right brake pedal, and on the other side of the steering column is the left brake pedal. The brake pedals are mechanically linked together, and if the transmission cutoff switch has been used to set a cutoff pressure, both pedals will cut off the transmission. Also visible in this area is the steering column adjustment lever. The windshield wiper switches are found on the right side of the steering column. This consists of two round switches with the right switch controlling the front wiper and the left switch controlling the rear wiper. Each switch is labeled and operates an individual wiper to be either on, full time, intermittent control, or the washer function. 
Above the washer switch, you'll find the turn signal lever. This lever has three functions built into one assembly. By using a twisting motion, this becomes the lamp switch for turning on the clearance lamp, tail lamp, and headlights. By moving this lever from high to low, it activates or deactivates the high beam headlights. And by moving this lever to the left or right, it activates the left or right turn signal. Now let's take a look at the mid-size wheel loader equipped with joystick steering option. It is important to point out that with the JSS option, the machine still includes a standard steering wheel. Also, when JSS is installed on the machine, a number of other cap controls change. First, let's take a look at the controls at the front of the right-hand console. With JSS, the large three-position switch labeled FNR is now blanked off and relocated. Also moved is the second horn button. Both of these features are located on the JSS lever. Looking at the JSS console, we can see it is located on the left side of the operator's seat. It includes a knee guard to protect accidental contact with the operator's left leg. The JSS console flips up to make access easier for the operator. The JSS console is raised using the release unlock knob on the right inside of the console at the operator's left leg. JSS is disabled in this position. Once lowered, JSS is active provided the JSS on-off switch is in the on position. The console can be adjusted forward and aft using the knob on the left or outside of the console base structure. In addition, the JSS armrest can be adjusted using two armrest knobs located on the right side of the armrest. The JSS response speed can be adjusted using the high-low selector switch. The JSS lever includes four switches on the control face. First, we have the FNR switch, which is a three-positional direction selection switch. Next, we have the horn button, which supplements the horn in the center of the steering wheel. The third and fourth switches control transmission shifting, with the top switch shifting up and the lower switch shifting down. This concludes the cab controls for Komatsu's midsize wheel loaders. If you need any additional information or have any questions, please reference the operation and maintenance manual located in the cab. Thank you for your interest in Komatsu.